So we're going to take the head off and we'll get it shaved uh, 30 thousandths uh, to get a little bit more compression out of it. I think it's running about 150 right now and we'll get it up to about 170. So Let's pull all of this exhaust stuff off real quick and we'll get back to trying to get the rest of this stuff off. get it off I had to take this plate off this bracket off it bolts right here as you can see but to get to these two bolts I had to take the exhaust off and all that so I didn't pop that off over there it's just those two clamps it came right off so get this off now I'm gonna go ahead and take the the heat the temp sensor out take this hose off take that clamp off and then start breaking the head studs loose We got the head off, I got it all cleaned up, and got everything vacuumed back out, the debris I had down in the water pockets and all that, so tape that up, should be good, I'm going to close the hood and everything, got the head right here, we'll send it off, get it shaved down to about 30 thousandths, and uh, get a little bit more compression, get some more power, probably clean all this up too, and uh, respray the, the top of the head. Yeah, that's what we got going on. Got the other two motor mounts. So I need to swap out the uh, the used ones with the new ones. Back at it again today. Got the um, got the head sent off. 
a couple days ago and I've got them back. Shaved down 30 thousandths. coats of clear on there should be ready to bolt on but right now i finally got a hold of some guys that actually know about these skis a lot more than i do and a lot of the things that they were doing obviously that's why i've taken the head off got it shaved 30 thousandths get a little bit more power but the fuel line all of them they've disconnected the on off and reserve and just done straight from the reserve line straight into the carb but I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and go from the reserve and take it and run to the back side of the filter and then run filter into there. So at least there's some type of filter system in there, but we won't have like all these lines having to go, you know, all the way here, all the way back. It'll just kind of go straight filter into the carb. So maybe that'll help too if it's ever starved of gas or anything, since I'm trying to get a little bit more power out of it. Not, needs a little bit more, leans a little bit faster, so we're gonna do that right now. <laughs> All right, now you can see what I was talking about. <clears throat> this is your typical on line right here, just for just to have it regular on, and then the reserve is this one, as you can tell by my sticker. <clears throat> the reserve line goes through goes right through here hits the filter and then comes out coming back around and then in here and then this line is the one that's going and coming into here so now you kind of know what i got going on and all this is disconnected now so it's pretty much it so we're waiting on the head to dry we got it painted now got it stuck on here i've kind of torqued these two down and this one and i got to move in the sequence that it tells me to but uh that's what we're doing right now 16 pounds is the first one you do and then you do 20 after you let it run for a couple minutes Let's get this thing bolt everything back together and crank it up let it run for a couple minutes get good and warm where you can barely touch it yeah. turn it back off and then torque it at uh, 20. everything's bolted back up get all the clamps back on everything got the head on now 